Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about some VMware workstation disk management that you could do uh, defragment, compact, and disk cleanup. So we're going to go through each one of these and show you how to do it. So the first one is defragment. So this is, uh, you've, if you are a Windows user, you know what defragmenting is and you've probably uh, done that on your computer. Maybe not recently with like, you know, SSD drives, you don't need to do them and Windows does a pretty good job of keeping things defragmented on its own these days. But anyway, so what this will do, Rearrange your files, programs, and unused space on the virtual disk so programs can run faster and allows for faster file access. Does not reclaim unused space, so you're not going to get any space back. Uh, you're going to need free space equal to the size of the disk file on your host computer to defrag it. So if you have a 50 gig VMDK file, you're going to need 50 gigs uh, free disk space on your host to run the process. And it's not the same as running a defrag within the Win guest Windows OS. So it'll kind of defrag different type of files compared to the ones where you're actually within Windows. So to do that, first we're going to look at our file here. So this VMDK, we have 41.7 gigabytes. So now we're going to click on the disk here, bring up the options. We're going to click on defragment. This could sometimes take a bit of time to do, so we'll probably just have to pause the video and then be back when it's finished. Okay, so the defragmentation is complete. It took about 25, 30 minutes actually. And if we go back to here, we're still at, let me refresh, so 41.75 gigabytes. Okay, so next we have the compact option. It's similar to the old shrink command you used to be able to do from VMware tools within the VM. VM must be powered off. And you can't use the compact command if the virtual hard disk, on the virtual hard disk, if this space is pre-allocated, as in, you know, instead of uh, growing as you needed, you allocated all the space at once, or if the hard drive is mapped or mounted. Uh, and same thing as defrag, requires free space on the host equal to the size of the disk you want to compact. And then also there's the disk cleanup, so these are similar. Compact, think of like when you have a database and extra white space um, where it will kind of com compact all that extra free space back together so it takes up less room on your VMDK file. And then you have the disk cleanup, and then this same thing, VM must be powered off. You can reclaim disk space on your host allocated to virtual disk files that the guest operating system is no longer using. So if you delete a bunch of files in your guest operating system, it may you know free up the space inside Windows or Linux, but the VMDK file still has that space that it thinks is in use. So this could be used on VMs that have snapshots or link clones or parents of link clones. You don't need don't, you don't have that space requirement for uh, doing the disk cleanup like you do for compact and defrag. And cleanup will reclaim more disk space than the compact method. And it operates directly on the VMDK files. And But you need to have VMware tools installed. So if I were to go back here and do the compact, then what would happen is the disk cleanup would see that it doesn't need to run. So if you do the disk cleanup, or at least run it first from the VM menu, manage, cleanup disks, it'll tell you what it's going to find there. So... Right now it's 41.8, like we saw. It could get 19 left, 19 free. So let's just call that 42 minus 19. That'll be 23 when it's done if we use the disk cleanup. So let's see what happens if we use the compact. The compact doesn't tell you um, what it's going to have left after it's done. So let's just run this, and then we'll see if we we're better off doing the compact or the free space or disk cleanup. So once again, this will probably take some time and I'll have to pause it again. Okay, so the compact is done. Let's see what kind of space we got left. So 22.6 instead of about 23. So yeah, it looks like it did about the same as the uh, cleanup would do. So lots of times I find that the cleanup will give more space than the uh, compact, but I guess it depends on how much free white space there is on the disk to uh, get rid of. So your results will vary. So now if I go back to the VM manage cleanup disks, it's going to say cleanup is not necessary. So you could play around with these three methods. Like, you know, like I said, the defrag is not going to get you any free space, but you'll get your stuff running quicker. Then you could decide if you want to compact or clean up, or you can you know, do one compact one time and then clean up the next time and just kind of keep your VMDK file sizes under control. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.